Hi folks, as you can see Storm Imaging is well with us in Cardiff. Um, let's have a little look at what we've been up to on the plot this week. Hi guys, today is Monday the 8th of February. I want to say a massive thank you to all my new subscribers um, to the channel. Um, it's unbelievable how many of you are actually watching these. Um, I was quite surprised at it if I'm honest. Um, but it is good, so a massive thank you to you and everyone who's commented. Um, it's Well, I, I love talking to you guys. It's great to bounce ideas off each other. Um, so thank you for that. I also want to mention um, a friend um, who's also got a channel. Um, if you hop over to um, Homebrew Griffo, um, he's brewing his own beer. So if you're interested in that sort of side of things, um, it's definitely worth a watch. It's quite interesting. Um, I've had a little look and I've been to to his setup really, and it's really good. Um, there is a bit of news um, later on in this video. Um, I've got a little bit of a, a deal, should we say, going on with him. Um, so it's worth sticking around and having a little look but definitely have a look at his channel it's really good and again thank you all for subscribing cheers um i just wanted to talk to you a little bit about um the coffee compost really um this weekend as you can see from well i'll show you later on really the um the allotment's in no shape to be doing anything really i did a bit of tidying up and that but it was so messy and so muddy down there um you know there's not much else i could do and the weather is horrendous today as well so it doesn't look like i can be doing much for a while really down there um if it's if there's cloudy and that i will go down tidy up potter and stuff but everything's just so wet and so minging really so um like i said there's not much i can do down there at the moment so i thought i would give a bit of information about the coffee compost um just because a few people have been asking about it now I normally get mine from a friend, um, she works in a coffee shop um, so they have an abundance of it um, and they're happy to give it to me. I've also contacted a few other coffee shops which are more than happy to um, collect it for me and normally about once a week or so I'll go um, there and pick it all up or every few weeks or some of them even just give me a call when they've filled up um, the buckets that I've supplied them. Like I said most places they normally pay to get rid of it um, but like I said they're happy to give it to you um, and it's great for the ground really um, I'll go through a bit more of that information now with you um, but it's just a great source and it's all um, you know recycling and helping the environment and stuff like that um, and I find personally one of the benefits is is slugs and snails hate the stuff I absolutely hate it so it's sort of a present preventative way of keeping your plants safe um, we have a massive slug problem um, and snails down at the um, allotment I don't think I've shown you yet um, but it's a serious problem down there so this coffee that I'm getting should hopefully help reduce um, the amount of um, plants being damaged by uh, slugs and snails and things um, yeah that's it really I'll go on now to uh, explain a bit more. The coffee grounds, one of the main benefits for me personally is that um, it does reduce the amount of slugs and snails attacking the plants, so that's obviously a massive benefit. Um, and the more you more you get and the more you dig into the ground, hopefully you should keep them at bay, even under the ground and things like that. But coffee is also a great source of nitrogen um, or green matter for the composter. Um, it's full of it. so. It is really good in that sense. Um, the more you can get, obviously, the better. But keeping in mind, obviously, the ratios um, to green and brown matter that you've got for the composter. But it is a really good source um, of nitrogen. You don't just have to use it um, in the composter. That's the other thing. Um, I've used it. I've dug it straight into the ground before, um, especially when I'm planting um, things like tomatoes. Is um, little seedlings and things like that I've used it then so time is converted um, and leave the nitrogen into the ground the tomatoes are well on their way then um, so it is really good in that sense you can also use it like um, a fertilizing tea so you can um, put it in water dilute it and water your plants with it again it's just another great source of nitrogen for the plants and it's, it's another use for it really and then obviously with once you've done that you can put the grounds back in the composter 
um, the worms love it I don't know why worms love it so much but um, as you'll see later on in my video there's basically when I opened the composter there was about a couple of worms on top but as you dig down I think we counted about 30 different worms um, so the worms love it um, so anything to encourage the worms into the composter is obviously great um, so it is good in that sense as well some people say that you know the coffee isn't isn't the best for ground because it'll lower the pH and make it more acidic I think it is um, which is kind of not true from the research that I've done what should happen as long as it's washed coffee so coffee that has already been used um, it should be fine the pH it shouldn't alter the pH level too much um, if you're obviously putting in raw coffee grounds and things like that then it will have um, an effect on it but other than that it should be fine so it's a great fertilizer um, like you said for the, the soil it's also good for drainage um, it's good for water retention and aeration um, it's also good for the plants uh, um, and again like I said they'll also attract the, the worms around the plants as well which is also good so it is it is really good stuff um, it's quite surprising how good coffee actually is for the ground um, like I'm a big coffee drinker myself so I, I always throw mine um, into the ground which is great um, but it is it is more and more becoming more and more popular as well should I say um, in people using it so you want to get in contact with your local um, coffee shops as soon as possible now in South Wales we do have one chain um, I think it's called coffee one they um, they actually are one step ahead they already um, bag it up for people and they have it out on counters all um, sealed in in bags and you can just help yourself really so you can go into coffee one um, and help yourself now normally I only take one or two bags while I'm in there um, I suppose you can take more um, it's probably best not to you know let everyone else have a bit um, but give it a go see if your local coffee shop will help you out with it um, it is really good now the other thing to mention about the the coffee is I don't know how true this is should I say first but basically some people think or it's been suggested that coffee is a good cat repellent um, I know we have a lot of issues with cats pooing everywhere at the plot um, so it'll be interesting to see what exactly happens um, I might do a little experiment when I get a bit more um, and place it around the edge of the plot just to see if it does deter um, the cats and see how much poo they leave I suppose um, so I might give that a go it's, it's worth a try um, like I said we do have a cat issue at our plot um, so anything's worth, give, worth giving a try and it's all natural it's all environmentally friendly and that so um, I say it's, it's great um, even if it doesn't work it's good to experiment um, and you never know you might be lucky and it might work good luck guys that's probably all I'm going to say um, about the coffee like I said just contact your local coffee shops they should be able to help you out um, most of them have been pretty good you get the other one that um, won't but that, that's up to them uh, most of them are pretty good um, and it's definitely worth looking at um, do your own research um, obviously I'm not like I said before I'm not an expert in this at all um, I've only gone on the research I've done and I'm quite happy to give it a try and like I said I'll show you the video later on and from those results alone um, it does seem to be working in terms of the worms and things like that good luck guys I also want to say a massive thank you um, to my friend um, homebrew Griffo if you check out his channel he's brewing um, a lot of beer um, on his and it is really good um, he's also got some chickens which I've been over his house yesterday and he gave me a load of chicken poo and um, hops from his beer so we're going to be using them at the allotment now we've reached a bit of an agreement um, which I'm quite excited about I'm going to grow um, a load of fruit for him um, it's probably going to be strawberries raspberries um, for now this year and he's going to turn it into um, a fruit cider and what we'll do is we'll split the um, cider um, between us then so I'll give it to friends and family and that um, and he'll have um, his as well um, so thanks to uh, homebrew there check out his channel it is really good um, I highly recommend it I'll put a link in the description below but hop over and have a little look um, and then we'll do, probably do a combined video or something of when we got the fruit ready um, and we'll pop it up for him um, to show you all then um, that's about it for this week um, like I said the weather's been terrible here um, just constant rain and things so there's not much we did um, down the plot 
Um, I did try to sift the compost that we got last week, but that was a no-go if I'm honest. Um, it was just too wet and it was just all clumping together, so we left that. So all I've done is really is tidy the plot this week. Um, like I said, there wasn't much else I can do, but I'm hopefully next week the weather should be a bit better and we should be able to get down there. Um, I'll show you what I did anyway, um, just take a little look, see what you think. Um, but I hope you found this useful guys. Uh, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Morning guys, today is the 7th of February, Sunday. Um, we're here at the allotment just to fill up this strawberry bed and hopefully uh, get it ready for planting. Um, we've had a bit of a disaster, if I'm honest, this week. Um, some stuff's blown over in the wind, it's been quite strong and as you can see it's very wet we have had non-stop rain all week um which is a bit of a nightmare the ground's just sopping wet so we won't be doing too much um today but what i'm gonna do uh, if you saw my last video the um sifting through the soil we're gonna do that now with our new pile of compost so i'll get a crack on with that and then i'll show you the results hi guys um i've just tried um, sifting through that soil that's here it's just way too wet this was the result um, it's just way way too wet to do it um, so I'm gonna have to leave that for today um, so what I'm probably gonna crack on with is a bit of de-weeding and I'll give you a little update on the coffee compost in the one composter I'll see you in a sec okay guys here we are at the uh, composter with the coffee um, it smells amazing I love the smell of coffee and as you can see hopefully there are already some worms in there, uh, just sitting on top. So what we'll do is we'll have a little dick around now, just see if there's many more. But there's quite a few. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. I can see six already. Let's have a little dig around. Okay guys, I've just had a little look in there, and as you can see there's a few more worms underneath. Um, a rough count, there's about 30, and that's just digging sort of through the top layer. So as you can see, the worms absolutely love the coffee, um, which obviously is good for um, the ground. When we put the compost in, or the worm tea, or worm wee, whichever you want to call it. And um, obviously breaking down the stuff that's in the composter. Um, quickly as well so it's all going good right then guys uh, it's a bit of a disastrous day in all fairness uh, we keep getting showers uh, the ground's absolutely sopping uh, there's not much I can do really at all in terms of way of digging or getting stuff in or anything like that so all I'm going to do is just going to have a general tidy up um, of the plot just to make it a little bit better um, and just see what we can do really like I said it's as you can see it's quite cloudy and overcast the sun's coming through now and again but it's just horrendous so we're gonna have a little tidy up okay let's start with all that over there i'm gonna tidy it up make it a bit better okay guys as you can see we've moved a lot of the um rubbish that was up by the um the water butt so we've moved all that now and tidied it up um but that's about it for this week